Hello there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. Happy Monday to you all. Sorry there's been no video over the last few days and to be fair we have I got I have had stuff to talk about. Uh, so before we get talking you can smash the like button if you could please and subscribe to the video and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. So over the weekend saw the Reds take on their first pre-season friendly against Crew Alexander coming out 2-0 winners in the brand new white strip which is absolutely gorgeous by the way. Uh, always great to get off to a winning start um, after pre-season. To be fair we were going to I was going to talk about it on Saturday evening however the highlights weren't published till Sunday uh, and yesterday I was really busy as well so I didn't have chance so today we'll just have a little talk about it go over the highlights. There were 17 minutes or so highlights on the the uh, Barnsley official YouTube page. So I've just watched that, uh, watched it, analysed it. And to be fair, I thought we played some really good stuff. Uh, played two different sides, first half, second half, switched it around, goal in either side, goals from Mads Anderson uh, in the first half and Connor Chaplin. Uh, and I've got to say I'm very impressed from what I saw on the highlights that's all I can say really up to now because obviously I've not seen the full game there was no live uh, stream for that for that game so uh, the highlights of what we uh, of what we've got to back up on but you know these pre-seasons you know the the good but also yeah, the uh, the more fitness levels and stuff like that more than, more than the overall quality yeah it's nice to see the uh, the quality if if it's shown but at the same time it's more of a run out for the lads get them used to back back to playing uh again uh, competitively really and uh, from what i saw especially the first half i thought we were very very good uh moved the ball very very well styles looked very good uh styles was on the corners as well put some great corners in i'd like to see styles maybe on the corners full time uh, rather than Alex Mowat, because I thought the balls he were putting in were, were brilliant. Uh, Patrick Schmidt, I thought, we got involved a lot more than he usually does. He hit the post, um, could have made it 2-0, probably should have made it 2-0 as well. I think if that had been in a league game, we'd have uh, been pointing that out as a huge, huge opportunity. Um, the goal from Mads Anderson, yeah, nice little finish. The goal, the assist from Styles, great ball in from the corner, nice little finish, uh, four minutes in. Uh, and yeah, defensively, we looked very well. Solbauer looked very good. Uh, Ludwig looked great uh, Brown, you know, they all looked fresh they all looked up for it and that first half I would probably say we, we looked from the highlights a lot better uh, than the second half but the second half obviously rotating the side we saw um, Frazier come on uh, and um, from what I saw we didn't see too much of him on the highlights but he got involved a little bit um, George Miller was was playing Adebayajo you know all those players um, so it's always a mixture of pre-season they're always going to rotate it and Struber obviously looking at the uh, who's going to play where and all, all this and that both keepers going to run out uh, but like I said we got the result it's a great result it's always nice to get the three uh, the three points the, the win uh, but it is mainly fitness and we, we said that every year on the channel when we do go into pre season that the fitness levels are the more the key element uh, to pre-season to get us ready for league football which is, is not long away um, so yeah great great news and obviously we've got Newcastle in pre-season next which uh, should be interesting hopefully you know we get to see the highlights of that as well and hopefully we could talk about it a little bit a uh, little bit earlier than uh, the normal but uh, yeah thank you uh, for uh, for being patient guys if uh, if you were wondering where a video was uh, and also Callum Styles has agreed a new deal to stay at the club till 2023 great news for me you know uh, styles like i've just touched on were uh, were brilliant on uh, on the video in the first half were really really good um and he's definitely going to be uh, got a bright future ahead of him and it's nice to see that we've tied him down to the football club you know i think he's definitely going to be on the team sheet a lot more next season he should be on the team sheet a lot more next season from what we've seen of him so far so that was always going to be a no brainer and the, the the players like him, you know, young players up and coming, you know, that are going to attract the attention of the bigger clubs, the clubs that want to pinch him away. So to have him tied down, is always a bit is always a positive, uh, and it, and I'm glad that he's agreed to it as well. Clearly, we've got we're going to offer him more football. He needs to be playing football. He's at that stage. He's playing well. He needs to be on the pitch. Uh, and yeah, he's definitely a no brainer to to be starting games. You you could just see him. He's got that flair about him. He's got that 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 little, that flair where he gets the ball and he can turn quick. He's he's quick with his feet. He's got that football in brain. So there's a footballer there, and I'm glad, so glad that we have um, 
tied him down to a new contract over the moon for it to be fair it's, it's wonderful news coming out uh, he actually tweeted you know come on Barnsley FC so clearly it were already signed before it before it all got announced and everything so wonderful news uh and uh you know it could be could be one of the signings of the season really i mean i know he was still under contract but at the same time you know to tie him down long term and for him to commit his future to the football club is great great news and if he can play like he did in the friendly and like he did at the end of last season we we will be very impressive for us as well so great news and hopefully you know we can see some more players come in this week um that we can talk about on on the channel so once again guys thank you for watching and and again thank you uh, for being patient if you're wondering where the video was on the crew game i was going to talk about it saturday but i, I was just sat there and i was like i can't really can i because i've not seen the highlights at least i need to see the highlights because there were no stream like i said uh but nice for the place to get a run out and i thought we looked very very solid um in the midfield all over the pitch really i thought we looked very very good uh, on the ball off the ball and that's always good to see but also fitness wise we look good as well so okay gang guys i will crack on thank you for watching remember to give the like button a smash and subscribe to uh, the channel so you don't miss out on the latest and i will see you in the next one hopefully tomorrow when we've got something to talk about regarding transfers uh, so yes yeah, stick around for that once again guys thank you for watching all the best you reds <laughs>